Hi, I'm Dr. Lee, and thank you for watching. And today's prayer is going to come from Philippians 2 and 5. And the name of this prayer is Respecting Others. And sometimes we have to be mindful of respecting others. Sometimes you feel like you got it, like, okay, my thoughts are, you know, the right thoughts. And the way I see it, you know, is the way it is. And, and you can be disrespecting someone and not even realize it because you feel like, the, your thoughts or what you're thinking, you know, is the right way, and that's how you feel, and you can't, you can't change it, and so you're like, okay, but once you start, you know, dealing with God and reading and growing, you realize that some stuff, even though you may think different, you have to respect others. You may think, okay, we need to have hot dogs, and versus, okay, I don't um, um, want chili on my hot dog. You know, oh, no, I'm, a hot dog doesn't taste good unless you got chili and cheese and onions on there, and you know, and you think about it, what is the big deal? You know, you eat the hot dog plain, you eat it with chili, cheese, you eat it with the onions, or however. But sometimes you think your way is the right way or the only way, I should say. And uh, with that, you can start disrespecting people and not even know. So you have to be uh, mindful of that. So I want to be mindful of respecting others and others' idea because sometimes some stuff you're like, okay, I know this is not going to work. But it's not your business to even to, to even say that or to, to to push it on somebody. You say, you know what, I'm going to let them walk that path. I'm going to respect them. I'm going to keep my peace. I'm not going to say anything because they just they got to go through that. They got to walk down that path. You know, even though I see this, you know, go work out this way, I got to be respectful. So um, Jesus, he was, he was respectful when he was up here. He didn't force himself on anybody. He said, well, you're going to make me your Christ. I'm going to be your Christ. He didn't do that at all. So why should you do it? Why should I do it? So with that, um, respect to others is the name of this prayer. And it comes from Philippians 2 and 5. And Philippians 2 and 5, let's see. It says, uh, let's see. It went to the NIV. I want to make sure. But this is the Amplified Version. But Philippians 2 and 5, the um, Amplified Version says, Let this same attitude and purpose and humble mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. Let him be your example in humility. Let this same attitude and purpose and humble mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. Let him be your example in humility. And I wasn't even planning on reading from the Amplified Version. I was going to read the NIV like most of all the videos, right? Unless I tell you different. But I'm going to say that that's just, you know, the uh, the, the Lord wanted me to, to, to see that version of it because I, like, I was going to do the NIV. But the humility, humility of Christ. He said the humility. So in order to respect people, you got to be humble. You got to be humble enough so you know what? You know what? Let me let them have that. I'm going to respect them at all, at all costs, at all costs. So with that, I'm just going to say um, uh, a, a prayer on Philippians 2 and 5. And, uh, okay, I just put up the NIV version. In the NIV version, which I was going to read at first, but like I said, the M5 version popped up for some reason. Um, it says, in your relationships with one another, in your relationships with one another, have the same attitude of mind of Christ Jesus had. And as the M5 version said, humility, you know. Jesus, I mean, Jesus was humble. So be humble in your dealings with people day to day. Even if you don't like them, be humble. So you know what? God loves them. I love them. I don't like them, but I love them. You know, so I'm going to be humble and respectful to that person. So here you go. I'm going to um, bow my head. You can bow your head, close your eyes, pray like you pray, whatever's comfortable. And let's, let's, let's just ask for you know, God to step in and help us respect others. Even we may not even realize we're not disrespecting people. So, Father, I come to you standing on Philippians 2 and 5. Your word says, in my relationships with other people, I need to have the same attitude as your son, Jesus Christ. Father, I'm not perfect, but I definitely want to grow to perfection as long as I have breath in my body. So, Father, Sometimes in our day-to-day -day dealing, a person like myself 
don't mean any harm, but I can say things, do things, because I feel like these things are the best for the situation, the best for the person, the best for the moment, and not realize that I am crossing the line and being disrespectful and not respecting another person's thoughts, ideas, the intentions, or how they want their life to work out. So, Father, I ask that you, I ask that you guide me daily and make me aware of times that I may be crossing the line trying to be helpful, but I'm actually crossing the line of respect. And so, Father, I ask that you just keep me, keep me growing, keep my mind growing, and let me just be out on the lookout for making everyone I deal with feel important, feel worthy, and not that I know it all, and not that I have all the right answer. So, Father, I thank you for just bringing this to my heart to be respectful to others. Because this is all it's about for me, Father, is growing in your word. And so, Father, just thank you. Thank you for putting this on my heart to pray and to walk in to, be to do better in my life. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, that's my prayer. I'm being respectful. So, work on being respectful to others. Even if you don't agree with them, just be respectful. And if you don't have relationship with Jesus Christ. All you have to do is repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Just say, Father, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. You know how to repent of my sins and, and just open the door and lead me to the things I need to know, the things I need to do. And read His Word. And it's it's just that simple. And as always, I'm Dr. Lee and thank you for watching. Let go. Let God. And keep it moving. Take care.